Good morning lovely people, it's been a little bit of a long time but welcome back to another episode of the Road to 1400 a month from Affiliate Marketing. I took a little bit of time off because I was getting kind of stressed with all the kind of speed work and the website redesign and it's still not done so I'm still waiting on the developers to do that. They had their COVID vaccinations and the COVID vaccination it's great they've had them, but the COVID vaccination is making everybody ill. Like everybody I've seen who's had the COVID vaccination has got severely ill. So they got severely ill over the last week. So <laughs> the speed works have taken about three to four weeks to complete because of different things getting in the way of it. So um, I'm really hoping it gets finished before May because that looming update is actually shaking me in my little boots. So uh We'll see. Like always, we're going to start with analytics and I haven't really checked this in a while because I just haven't been really wanting to look at it because it kind of gets my mood in a bad place and I'd rather just focus on the content and stuff like that. So I've been focusing on the content a lot more and not really checking stats and just focusing on what matters, making more videos and planning the content out and making more products. It's been kind of a little bit disheartening recently because there's a lot of high DA sites that have come in and just taken positions for articles that I don't think are as helpful as even the other articles in my niche and I do think they should be on top. But I really hope that gets sorted out by Google because uh, I mean, it's just more and more fuel for me to go get links and I'm getting more and more links and stuff like that. And my DA has gone up a lot. It's gone up to 14 right now. So I just need to continue doing the review strategy that I'm doing and gaining the links and just move forward with it. There's ups and downs in this and I can't get put down by them. Anyway, let's go over analytics for the last week. And as you can see, it's been all over the place. We had about 300, 300, then down to 130. Now on Azoic, I had like 400 visits, but on Google Analytics, it didn't show up as uh, 400. It's 130 here for some reason. Then it went back up to 408 and back down to 162. Then back to 238 yesterday, which is kind of weird. I've never, ever seen it do this before. So up and down, it looks like I've just posted on social media a couple of times and it's gone up and down. But I haven't really lost any rankings or anything like that. Maybe the guy doing the speed work is causing the website to break. I did ask him what he was doing. Um, he said he was sick, so he said he hasn't <laughs> been uh, working on it. So I'm not really sure what's going on here but we'll just yeah we'll just go forward with it and we'll just keep writing content and just keep going because there's just no point looking at this and feeling disheartened by it even though i will but you know anyway moving on to google search console as you can see the clicks have been around the same like this is why i'm getting confused with the 180 over there because we still be getting around 300 ish clicks a day roughly i mean 200 there 300 300 300 back down to 270 there so it doesn't really seem like there's much of a difference in google search console as opposed to analytics so i don't know why analytics would be reporting it that differently i don't know maybe the analytics is set up wrong or maybe it's a caching plugin Pfft, who knows on the ctr front we've still been getting around two ish percent a day now i have been testing out different titles on azoic and the different titles on azoic are actually doing some of them are doing much better and some of them doing much worse so it's good to see like i mean it's a very 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 small change in the title name i think i took out the word of and it got like a seven or eight percent higher click rate and i was like wow that really does make a difference. So your titles, man, your meta titles, you should be really, really giving them a lot more weight. I didn't give them that much weight, but wow, they are important. It is insane to see what people click over other things. Anyway, moving over to the first affiliate, we've had a couple of sales this month. You know, it was, it was going steady like it usually does. And then the last couple of days is just nothing. And I have checked the affiliate links and everything like that. The affiliate links are working completely fine. There's no broken links. They haven't changed their link structure or anything like that. So maybe this is the drop in traffic. I'm not really sure what's happening. Sometimes you just don't get some sales, but I haven't seen this much of a gap 
for a long time. So um, a little bit worrying. Then if we move over to Rakuten, we started off the, the, the month really well. We had a lot, a lot of sales and then mid month we're just getting nothing. And then really it's pretty barren around here. On the 20th, we've had about two $14 commissions, then dollar, dollar here. It's not been a great month to be honest, but it's okay, sometimes we have bad months. Now if we go over to the next affiliate, as you know, last month we had about $800 on this one and it went absolutely crazy. And this has gone down as well this month as well. Now this is confusing because the positions have not been lost at all. Like there's no changes in the search rankings here. So we've getting a, we're getting $13, then we had $15, 20, then $76, which is very nice, 15, 12, 30.5, and then not much here. As you'll know, last month we had a lot of $150 commissions, which is the Fiverr Pro plan. And I have actually recommended another pro plan on here, but no one seems to have been taking it out this month. And I'm not sure why that is. Is it because it's April? I... I see no correlation in why this would go down, but to be honest, last month was a bit of an outlier, so maybe last month was not the usual earnings that you're supposed to get from this affiliate, and it was just, yeah, I, yeah who knows. Then if we move over to the next affiliate, we've made about £26 this month. It's been pretty slow, as all the other ones have this month. Um, we had around £11 there on April the 12th, and then we had £14 on April the 19th. Usually we get around 70-ish pounds on this affiliate, so this is going even slower as well. I really do think this is due to speed. I I can't see any other reason why, but who knows? I mean, I haven't lost rankings. I, I've been losing traffic, but then the traffic is up on a Zoic. There's just so many things that are just unsolved and I don't think I'm going to be able to solve them and worrying about them does nothing for me. The other two affiliates that I usually report with this one haven't made any other sales. Now there is a, one other affiliate where I barely ever ever get any sales on. I actually had two sales on it recently and that's two $28 commissions or $25 commissions. I'm not going to bother finding it because to be honest with you I don't really remember but I got an email saying that I got commissions so boom great then if we go over to display ads finally we had about three dollar thirty four dollars around four to five to three dollars a day and then as you can see we've been having around 400 visits recorded on a zoic but on analytics we're getting 300 and 150 and now we're having this problem where Azoic was really wrong before but now analytics is not lining up with zoic again and Azoic's showing more I've been having a few issues with Azoic as well I changed like literally tiniest thing on my blog theme I think I took the header image out and it just pushed all the ad placeholders around so I had to re-add them I re-added them on a particular article and when I re-added them on this particular article they were then showing on the other article in the wrong format so it was showing in content one above the under the first paragraph one which was under the first paragraph is the first one and then it was showing in content 14 below in content one and then under the first paragraph was down there and yeah i've had to contact support because i don't know really know what's going on they said something to do with if you do it on another page it tries to find similar locations and it might have messed up due to that but because i'm a premium user or i don't know Maybe it's because I'm just on a Zerk as well. I've just asked their team to help me set it up again because this is stuff I don't want to be worrying about, really. I just want to create the content, create the YouTube videos and things like that for my audience. YouTube is actually going really, really well. I think this is the next like part of my business that I'm going to open up because YouTube, man, people find it really helpful. I'm getting a lot of views and I'm actually getting to the top of the YouTube search um, results very very easily with just a couple posts on reddit and then people upvoting that post it goes right to the top and i get quite a lot of views and quite a lot of subscribers from it it seems like it's a lot more valuable for my niche to be on youtube rather than to be on the blog side of things but having both really helps so i think over the next couple of months i'm really going to push the youtube stuff i'm going to basically make videos for the articles that are already ranking on google so then hopefully when google i think google's going to basically push all the youtube videos as the featured snippets in my niche 
and it's going to push the blog posts down. So I'm going to create these videos around these blog posts before that happens so that my top blog posts have a linked YouTube video and then hopefully YouTube and Google will kind of like see that and they'll be like, oh, this one's the top. So we'll put it at the top. I don't know. That's just my theory, whether it works or not. Who knows? Other stuff's been going pretty well. Instagram went really well. We, we just passed 500 followers, which was brilliant. I had a viral reel and I was getting loads of followers and stuff like that. So it's really, really made me realize that reels are absolutely insane. If you're on Instagram, reels, like go all in on reels, man. Put a couple of IGTVs up and a couple of posts up, but reels are really where you're gonna get the organic traffic. Other than that, the, the site is should almost be done. It should almost be done. I'm praying to the Lord Jesus, our savior, and whatever to please help me get it done. Got a lot of stuff to do today, a lot of content to make, another video to make for the other channel, which you don't know about. And um, yeah, just uh, a lot of stuff to do basically. Kind of a quick but long update. Bit of a ramble and me letting out my stress on camera. But uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna do it no matter what. Whatever stands in my way is just a hurdle that I need to jump over. And I just need to keep going, keep producing the content. And it's gonna, it's gonna be there, man. I'm, it's gonna be an authority site. I know it, I know it, I know it. Anyway. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.